But what does he do for the black people? Doesn't do anything. Jewish people have a company and it's for people who want to borrow money and no interest. They want to give them a fish pole, fishing pole. We want to help people. If they don't have the money, we'll loan it to you. You don't have interest, one day you'll pay us back. So I, I'm just telling you. I want my people to rise up like the Jewish people. I'm a competitor. I'm jealous of the fact of how they stay with their wives. I'm jealous of the fact of how they do business together. I'm jealous of the fact of how they read their contracts and understand their contracts. I must mention from the start that this video is for sober minds only. All comments are welcome, but please remember that we are here to educate as well as build each other. I'm saying this because whenever I talk about accountability for black people, many of my brothers and sisters attack me. They don't want me to talk about how we made things worse for ourselves. The sad thing is that even Kanye received backlash when he tried to stretch this point about black people not taking accountability for our mistakes. But the truth of the matter is, we black people should take our share of the blame too. I am aware that historical injustices such as slavery, segregation and discriminatory practices have left lasting impacts on our communities. I know that access to quality education is a critical determinant of economic success, but unfortunately it wasn't easy for us to access that education in the past. I am aware that employment discrimination and wealth inequality are two dishes that we often got served in the past. A lot of unfair things happened to us that have pushed us to be three or four steps behind in many areas, but my question is, which one is better, complaining all day about what was done to us without taking any action, or acknowledging that we were hurt but we won't be defined nor imprisoned by the events of the past? Kanye's message has always been that we should take a bold step to free ourselves and build our communities like the other groups. We shouldn't wait for anyone to come help us because no one will. Should we forget about the past? No, but that should only be a bunch of memories to help us identify who the devil is. We have enough billionaires that can help us build generational wealth for our communities. We have enough intelligent people that can help us unlock the gates of wealth. Black people have everything but togetherness. What a shame. My message is, please, let's start practicing what Donald Sterling preached about the Jewish people. It's not a crime to learn from others. We are not the first nor the last group to be found in this state. We shouldn't let negativity define us. We are better than this, and we shall overcome it. Let's not let the blood of Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X and many others be shed for no purpose.